Hey, what's up guys? It's Paige Audrey Marie Heard and I'm doing a snack test with Preem. I am from Dallas, Texas. Growing up in Dallas was cool. I, um, I was there until I was about seven. So I don't have like any crazy, crazy memories. I did go back every summer. So I have memories of like going to the Rangers games, the Soul Circus the ball downtown, which was a big deal. Like my brother and my dad, we would go. Um, but it was pretty cool. I don't have any like friends back there. It's just my dad's side of the family because I moved when I was so young. But I am proud to be a Dallas, Texas princess. I really like this one. Okay, I'm scared. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I am a cancer, an emotional, sensitive, big-hearted cancer. I'm not mad at it. Be harsh? I just said I was a cancer. We're not harsh. <laughs> it's good. I, it has. It's like granola. So it's like, it's granola with the dark chocolate on top of it. So I would assume that that's what this is too. But yeah, I'm not mad at it. Like, I would definitely eat these for something sweet to eat. That's a good question. I am strategic. I just, um, I like to pick stuff that I feel like is gonna move the needle forward. Um, I don't wanna stay complacent. I don't really wanna constantly do the same thing. Um, so things I feel like are just gonna kind of elevate. And it's hard, you're not always gonna do it the right way. Um, but there's no real like rhyme or reason or I don't know. Okay. Here we have everybody eat. It's like fiery chili. Oh, slime. Those it's like wheat thins. Okay, let's see. Mmm, okay. They look like little cheese its but they're not. They're like wheat thins. This could use more flavor. Mmm. Never mind. There it is. Takes a minute. I think I could use some more salt. This one has a lot of salt, though. <laughs> you know, it started off great. It was fun. And then I don't like where Lauren went. And so now she's just getting me attacked online 24-7. <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. You know, they're, they're very flip floppy. I understand. I was too a very huge, still am, power fan. So I had my moments, but I just never got on Twitter. I just talked about it with my friend group. Um, but playing Lauren has been really fun. Just being a power, part of the power universe has been a great time. And I'm just grateful to be a part of, you know, the universe, to look back a few years later that way, not this way, that's behind. But looking back down the road eventually and just being a part of it, I'll be super grateful. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. always ask me sad questions. Um, no, it's okay, it's okay. We just celebrated his two year death anniversary on Sunday, which was Easter this year. My favorite memory, gosh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. I have a story I've never actually really said out loud to people. So one time, like right before we were filming Cradles to the Grave, we had to do like bonding, like daddy-daughter bonding. So he came to pick me up from my house and me and my older sister went with him and he was taking us to Six Flags. Now, I'm claustrophobic. I do not do roller coasters. I don't do theme parks. Like Disneyland I'm going to because it's Disneyland, but like I'm, I'm the bag holder, coat holder, you get on the ride. I'm just here for the pictures and the fun. And so I was like, yeah, well, I don't ride roller coasters. He's like, well, you are today. And I was like freaking out the entire, the entire way there. Um, he drives very fast. I'm pretty sure we could all imagine. Uh, very, very fast in this small car. And we're driving down the five freeway, misses the exit. You think he goes to the next exit? No, in the middle of the freeway, reverses and reverses down the on-ramp to get up. Mm -hmm. So it started off chaotic, okay? The day has just started off, I'm like, who is this person? 
And then we get to Six Flags, and I'm like, me and my sister are terrified because we're like, our lives are about to be forever changed. We're going to be terrified. We have to get on these rides. And by the grace of God, weed was not legal then. <laughs> we found weed, and we got kicked out before we even got in. And I was like, oh, I am the Lord's child. Like, he loves him some page. And then we ended up, like, going to the mall, KFC, and just hanging out for the day. And it was just, that's, like, one of my first memories that we've had. And from then on, I'm pretty sure you can imagine the rest of my stories or stories I can't tell. These are cool. <laughs> like, it was nice. But a uh, double chocolate brownie. Oh, they're vegan and gluten free. No disrespect. Like, that makes sense though. <laughs> We're just gonna put that right here. Now I'm not at it though. I'm gonna still eat this half. I did a movie with um, Megan Good and Terrence J called Russ and Drew. Cute little rom com. And so, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing that come out this year, hopefully. And um, just have other projects in the works that I'm getting ready to start on. And then now I'm gonna drop my album in November. I have a feature with Meek Mill. Um, I have another feature with. <laughs> 21 Savage um, and you know more the album is called Heard You and it was inspired by my makeup artist L because he always says that but we spell it H-U-R-D-U like my last name okay. Heard You because they gonna hear this Okay guys, this is Paige Audrey Marie Heard and I just finished my snack test with Preem.